Hello Kuwait 1 Hello Kuwait 2 And Hello Kuwait 3 Welcome to our chapel So today we want to start our chapel So prepare your heart and listen carefully ya Nothing's gonna stop us. We just gotta go on. Even when it looks bad, I know I can hold on. Raise him, raise him. Even when it may seem like you should just give up on the verge of breaking. Face my fears, wipe my tears. I, I break the chain just to make sure I got it. I'll just pray again. You bring me to the light, away from the dark. Bye. 
Lord Jesus, we thank you, Lord, for your blessing today. Now we want to start our chapel. Please bless us to understand about your word. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Halo, selamat pagi semuanya. Nah, pagi hari ini kita akan memulai chapel kita. Chapel kita pada pagi hari ini diambil dari kitab Ruth. Siapa di sini yang sudah tahu tentang kisahnya Ruth? Kalau nggak tahu, kalau belum tahu nggak apa-apa ya. Karena sebentar lagi kita akan mendengarkan cerita tentang Ruth. Jadi bagaimana ceritanya? Mari kita dengarkan bersama-sama. God story, Ruth. So part of God story is about a woman named Ruth, and it begins like this. Ruth lived in a place called Moab. and was married to a guy who was part of God's special family, the Israelites. A few years later though, Ruth's husband died. Instead of returning to her family, which would have been expected, she stayed with Naomi, her husband's mom. Naomi tried to get Ruth to go back to her family in Moab, but Ruth wouldn't leave Naomi, no matter what. In fact, she wanted to go back to Israel with her. Ruth said, Your people will be my people, and your God will be my God. So they both returned to Naomi's home in Bethlehem. Back then, though, it was hard for women to find work. Usually, they had to be taken care of by their husband or a dad. It's really hard to imagine that now, But Naomi and Ruth might not have even known how they'd survive. At first, to get food, Ruth went to the fields of a man named Boaz and followed his harvesters around. If they dropped anything, even just a piece of grain, she picked it up. This was called gleaning. Ruth worked from morning to night and barely even took a break. Boaz noticed. He told his workers to leave behind some extra grain for her to gather. When Naomi heard about this, she was overjoyed because Boaz was Naomi's relative and what's called a family redeemer. That meant that it was his responsibility to take care of his family. If anybody was going to rescue Ruth and Naomi, it was Boaz. Kids, we have a redeemer too. It's Jesus. He's the one who saves us. Anyway, this gave Naomi an idea. She told Ruth to put on her best clothes and perfume and then go to the place where Boaz was sleeping. Naomi said that once Boaz had gone to sleep, Ruth should lay down by his feet. Now, this may sound like a weird plan, but it was actually really brave. Ruth trusted Naomi and obeyed. When Boaz woke up, he was surprised. After all, someone was lying at his feet. That's not exactly a normal night. When Boaz asked who Ruth was, she said, I am your servant. You are my family redeemer. Now Boaz understood. Ruth wanted Boaz to marry her so that she and Naomi would both be taken care of. Boaz agreed. This was a huge deal. Ruth wasn't an Israelite, but she wanted to follow God anyway. By marrying Boaz, she got to officially be part of God's family. In fact, Ruth's great-grandson was King David. And many, many years later, Jesus, the rescuer, was born into the same family line. Now, because of Jesus, we get to be a part of God's family too. So, in case you missed it, Here's the quick version. Ruth was from Moab. Her husband died. 
Ruth was left with his mom, Naomi. Naomi told her to go home. Ruth said no. She went to Israel with Naomi. They needed someone to take care of them. Ruth gleaned in a field. Boaz noticed. He left extra grain for Ruth. Naomi made a plan. Ruth obeyed it. She wanted to marry Boaz. He agreed. Ruth became part of God's special family. And we can too. And that's a part of God's story. Nah, sekarang kita sudah tahu cerita tentang Ruth. Nah, tapi kira-kira apa ya yang bisa kita pelajari dari cerita tentang Ruth ini? Nah, yang pertama, kita belajar untuk faithful atau kita belajar untuk setia seperti yang dilakukan oleh Ruth yang mau menemani ibu mertuanya yaitu ibu Naomi untuk pulang ke Bethlehem. Walaupun di situ seharusnya ibu Naomi sudah bilang loh ke ibu Ruth, ehm, Ruth kamu di sini saja ya, biar ibu Naomi saja yang pulang ke Bethlehem. Tapi di situ ibu Ruth menolak. Ibu Ruth mengatakan bahwa bangsamu adalah bangsaku dan alamu adalah alaku. Nah di situ Ruth tetap setia terhadap ibu Naomi dan mau menemani. Ibu Nau. Jadi pada poin yang pertama kita belajar untuk kita dapat faithful atau kita setia. Nah di situ diceritakan juga kalau Ruth akhirnya bertemu dengan Boas dan akhirnya Ruth menikah dengan Boas dan yang mana akhirnya Boas menebus hidup Ruth. Ruth yang awalnya mungkin bersedih, kurang apa tidak bahagia, akhirnya bisa bahagia dan bisa sejahtera. karena ada boas yang menembus hidup Ruth. Nah kita di sini belajar kalau ternyata kita perlu seorang atau pribadi yang menembus diri kita karena kita adalah manusia yang berdosa. Tapi beruntungnya puji Tuhan kalau Tuhan Yesus sudah datang ke dunia untuk menembus setiap kita. Tuhan Yesus sudah datang dan rela untuk disalibkan untuk menembus setiap dosa-dosa yang kita punya. Padahal harusnya orang yang berdosa itu dihukum loh. Tapi karena belas kasihan Tuhan, karena kasih sayang Tuhan itu terhadap kita semua, kita akhirnya diselamatkan oleh karena kasih karunia Tuhan Yesus Kristus. Jadi dari kisah Ruth ini kita belajar dua hal. Yang pertama kita belajar untuk dapat setia, walaupun mungkin situasi yang kita alami sekarang mungkin sedang kurang bagus. Karena Tuhan Yesus setia terhadap kita, di dalam segala situasi apapun baik itu di good times or in bad times yang kedua kita belajar untuk kita bersyukur bahwa Tuhan Yesus sudah menembus setiap dosa kita jadi kita perlu bersyukur bahwa hidup kita sudah ditebus dan kita sudah diselamatkan jadi itu yang kita pelajari pada chapel pada pagi hari ini Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this chapel. Thank you for your sacrifice that has saved and redeemed us. Now, we want to continue our lesson. Bless us so we can understand about our lesson. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen.